Hi and welcome back. Today we are in White Run, taking a quick break from questing. I'd had quite a few levels uh, stacked up, mainly from sneaking and pickpocketing, um, a bit of archery, um, to the point of, without knowing it, I was level 38 with racked up skills. So, I hammered my enchantment up using Thandal with the uh, the mace from the quest we had earlier um, and just basically gave him petty stones and um, just filled him up with them basically and to level the enchantment up we basically just um, made lots of uh, daggers of turn undead which have a fantastic uh, return on value um, so we're going to be doing smithing in this one the best place I found for materials was Markarth, and you will get quite a lot of uh, scrap metal in there to make the ingots, so that just comes up with a couple of hours of playing. Pretty easy. The gold ingots I converted from iron ore, which I shall show you on the map. Here. You will get a book called uh, Transmute, which turns iron into silver and silver into gold, and then you just smelt them down. So it's rather quick to do, that is. Now I'll just hobble over to the smithing area. I chose White Run to do the upgrading in because they've got a stables just outside. You can't fast travel while encumbered, and you can't use a stagecoach while encumbered either. Um, because magically you're too heavy for horses to pull you. But if you mount a horse after buying one, you can then fast travel. So then I will be going all the way back to uh, the college to store things. So we're going to first start off with boosting up our smithing using jewelry. Hammer keys. Six. That's not too bad. Next, we shall. Oh, we've got to level up for here. Okay. No. Nope. Don't go into enchanting. We need smithing. Now we need to unlock the dwarven smithing to work on all of that nice, nice metal we got from Markov. So, let's have a little look. We need Dwarven. And we're going to be making bows. Lots of them. Because the good thing about this is... We can sell all these once we enchant them up. And clean out all of the traders. And we should not want for gold for a very long time. I'm planning to get to about, I think, 85. And then we can get grindstone. There we go. So that should be close to 200 bows. Have a little limp over to the grindstone. 196. That's not bad. I'm far out of the gas. Now, the annoying bit. E, R, and Y. You have to span this. And we shall be upgrading this now. I'm using well rested to get 10%. 
by resting in an inn by a room for the night and you get the bonus then. And the warrior stone. Those are the only boosts I'm using. Other than I think it's a total of 10% um, to smithing fortification. I've got some threes and a 1%. I'll show you them in a bit. in the right order. Let's get a little tiring. Uh, more of a tutorial one this one is on how I've boosted my skills up. Here we go. Last one. There we go, 100. So, and we've got 94 left, so I'll spam out the last couple of these now to make them legendary all the way through. Another may as well. There's an extra coin for it. These we shall store away in our room at the college so that we can then limp our way down here to the stables and we can then slowly enchant them all at our leisure um, to, as I was on about enchanting earlier what I did was every scrap of armor and weapons chucked them in the wardrobe in uh, well passed them to Thandor first once he was full wait until I get full transfer them all into a wardrobe in the in the uh, the college, pick up fresh crystals, cheapest ones you can find because it doesn't matter. Um, pick up those from the instructors there, and then we will just go out, let Thandal kill wolves, anything as you're exploring the lands uh, to find places to travel to, and then um, you go back, rinse, repeat, and before you know it, you've got easily over 200 petty gems and uh, you just make uh, like I said turn undead some weapons are like 600 gold for the enchantment and it's the higher value of the enchantment the faster your skill goes up so you do it in little bits and it's not as bad as trying to get it all done in one big go as with the smithing it was easier just to stockpile from Markarth every time uh, that resets in there you get lots of uh, demoware uh, metal struts solid uh, struts and all that and they replenish pretty quickly what I found was I was hitting there let's just wait until sun up Um, what I, I was hitting there, in between hitting the uh, the two meaderies for a lot of gold. Steal everything you can in there, and then sell the uh, sell the bottles back to them for quite a nice profit. You get almost three thousand gold from just the brew, uh, just for the breweries. Man like you needs a war horse, I reckon. So, Suppose so. Sit by the horse. Got one all saddled if you've got the coin. You've got a deal. It's the thousand gold the sounds a lot, but just a drop in the ocean considering how many bows we've right made strong. and what we're going to sell them for now that they're enchanted. As we're overweight, we shall mount the horse and now we're able to fast travel. Oh. Ooh, okay. First person to vote, please. No, can't do that. The last thing I want to do is ride off the edge. <laughs> Alright, we'll get close to the door here because we can't take him into 
an underground area or an indoors area. So we shall limp our way into here. This was the cupboard I was using to stick all of my things in, so we shall empty that. And then uh, go through the process of dumping in all of our legendary bows. That should be quite the fill. pick the best bows out because I believe a couple of the bows were higher value than the others. We shall pass to Thandal his equipment because I've got I stripped back. him down so what that he could carry to, to his limit. Let's give him hide shield for me. Necklace of Sneaking for him, a Ring of Sneaking for him and for me. Uh, these are the cheap um, Fortify Smithing that I used, so it wasn't anything fancy. Right, I like to equip the hood and the robes. We got 300 gold rings, I have no idea what to do with them yet. Just enchant them and sell them, probably. Let's give him armor. And the lesser of the two hoods. So that shall be me equipped with that. Weapons, we shall re-kit him out. With the mace of, Bolag of Molag Ball. This was instrumental in leveling up our enchantment. Pretty straightforward, doesn't really need a tutorial on that. Just all you have to do is periodically take it off him, recharge it with the crystals that he uses. Okay, we'll just give him a few more. Just common and petty, that's all I've been filling him up with. And lessers. Do -do -do -do. Get these. So, these ones are used to recharge his weapon as we go along. You lead, I'll follow. All the bar all the cupboards and uh, wardrobes in here are safe storage. I don't know about the barrels, so I have not been using those. So let's go to Mystic. We don't need these anymore now, so we can just store them. I will still collect them for the sake of making money down the line. And then these sort of things here. I shall stick in my interesting cupboard, as in bits and pieces I put on now and again. Right then. 10% better prices, I have that as standard. This I don't need, that I don't need. No this, no this. More of an organizational uh, episode, this one today. This one I've just been using, everything I found. I've basically killed everyone, stuffed them all in here, things I've stolen, just stuff them in here for the enchantment. All of these I'll enchant up after. Like I said, I tried to keep all this stuff off screen because, like today's episode, this one is going to be a slow one. Not much action or exploring. So. Oh, all weapons, apparel, thank you. All of these rings. Boop, into there. So that should be. I got my pickaxe, my arrows, two dwarven daggers, 
Ah, these I don't need. Gone for enchantment later. So that's me set. Converting the ores using transmute. What I found was the best way to get regeneration when you've only got a hundred mana is to use the apprentice stone. I believe it's the apprentice stone. Let's have a look on the map. Which was where's Solitude? Just down from Solitude, and above Fort uh, Snowhawk. The Apprentice Stone doubles your uh, your mana regeneration. You combine that, then with using. Let's bring up my inventory. The Necromancer robes, which is seventy five percent faster. Also equip the necklace or amulet hang on where is it this one by here for an extra 25 and then make some fondue some elsewhere fondue and then basically you can charge up both release and bump bump in one go and then basically that fills up in seconds so that's what i've been doing to boost up my skills I still have a skill to level up now. Let's add some health. We are going to need Arcane Blacksmith so we can improve enchanted weapons and armor. Enchantment. We are going to have to work all this up. But given. We want everything to be powerful when we get it. And always make sure you get the extra effect so you can do two enchantments on the one item so you can stack them up nice. The rest of my points, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to balance those out yet. Um, I am going to want some alteration. Because I want magic resistance. I'll have to work on my alteration skill to get more of that later. But as you can see, I've done a fair bit of smacking using one handed and archery as my main weapons. Sneaking was pretty much boosted up using um, my pickpocketing around town. Uh, by the time I'd cleared out quite a few towns, my sneaking had gone up between that and combat. Uh, Lockpicking needs a bit of work. Speech is yeah, neither here nor there. Alchemy, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna suffer on. I've got a lot of ingredients, but I've never really been much to look into alchemy, so that one might suffer unless I get a boost on making paralysis poison poisons. But I think my next ones are going to be the spell trees to upgrade. So we shall leave this here and catch you all soon. Hope this has been informative. Remember to like and subscribe if it has. And let me know in the comments what you all think. See you all soon.